All right, hello there, folks. My name is Nathan. And the following video that you are about to see is very much unlike the videos that I've previously posted to my channel. This is basically a commentary video on something that I didn't even know existed until like last week. So I'm going to share it with you. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a kick out of this. Maybe you won't. I don't know. We're just going to just dive in and see what this exactly is. Last week, one of my friends and I, we were taking a look on... Now, we had been talking about seeing a show in their hometown. And so we were looking on the website to see what all shows were coming, because we were trying to remember if a certain show was going to be on tour in that theater or not. And it turns out that something else entirely was coming on tour that we did not expect to see at all. And that is... The Bachelor Live on Stage. If you didn't know about The Bachelor Live on Stage, or The Bachelor in general, The Bachelor is a real is an ABC reality TV show where one guy is basically shown a bunch of girls, and you get to see him try and narrow down between the girls for the one girl that he's going to end up marrying, although 99% of the times that just ends in divorce. Um, now, the show has been hugely popular among what I'm assuming to be the single ladies community, and as a result, there's been a couple of spinoffs, including like a bachelorette, which is basically the bachelor, but the genders are swapped, so instead of one guy and a bunch of girls, it's one girl and a bunch of dudes, and I believe this one's like Bachelor in Paradise or something. I don't know. I don't, this is not the kind of television I watch. The idea, the, the mere concept of this show being a thing just baffled me. So I figured we'd take a look at it and see exactly what it is and just what even. Before we go any further, let's just take a look and appreciate the quality design of this webpage. Like, look at this. The Bachelor Live on stage only has 43 subscribers on YouTube. They don't even have a channel icon. And this down, this this video isn't even public. That's high quality, right there. Bachelor Live on stage, get your crap together. Also, really love that the Facebook and the Twitter on the bottom is just non-existent. Like, there's no posts by Facebook by the Bachelor on Facebook or on Twitter. Apparently, I don't know. So, what what exactly is this? So. Uh, the most successful reality romance series in the history of television is coming to your hometown. Uh, featuring Bachelor Nation favorites. If you don't know what the Bachelor Nation is, that's basically like the like fan base of The Bachelor, like Bachelor Nation or whatever. Uh, featuring Bachelor Nation favorites Ben Higgins and Becca Kufrin. I'm assuming people of The Bachelor Nation know who they are. I do not. So here we are. Uh, the Bachelor Live on Stage official tour guarantees all the drama, the gossip, and the romance of your favorite TV show in one delightful evening for the ultimate fan party. Previous Bachelor and Bachelorette's favorites will serve as your hosts as one eligible hometown bachelor is introduced to local ladies from the audience for a chance at love. So one of the big draws of this show, if you're not quite aware, is the fact that every single member of the, like, every single person that's in the show is basically like localized so like if you're watching it in like austin texas it's going to be an austin bachelor and an austin group of bachelorettes if you're watching it in like new york city it'll be a new york bachelor and a new york set of bachelorettes i'm 99 percent sure every single one of these people is just going to be an actor like because you know you've got to get some drama somehow and everyone's just kind of they're like this is nice it's not going to be engaging for the first time ever bachelor nation will have a say in the rose ceremony from the first impression rows to group date challenges and coveted one-on-ones, watch it all unfold live on stage. I love the fact that it's like, ah yes, one-on-one -on -one dates. You'd imagine there's going to be like some privacy to that. No, we're just going to showcase this in, in front of a theater of thousands of people. It's all fine. It's totally fine. Also, like the fact that the Bachelor Nation gets to have a say means that this is going to be hilariously funny to watch go wrong. Because you know for a fact there's going to be some drama just because of who they pick. Audience members and hosts will guide the Bachelor in his journey to find love. Yep, there we go. And if the leading lady accepts the final rose, the night could end with the start of a beautiful romance. I love, I love the fact that it's like the night could end. We're not saying it's going to. 
but it could. With the start of a beautiful romance. Not not guaranteeing that it will, but it could. It's potential. Uh, come to enjoy the show or come to fall in love. The, this engaging and hilarious experience will give you and your friends plenty to gossip about and fit an entire season of Bachelor drama into one evening. And then it goes into some like Q&A stuff here. Uh, my personal favorite is the fact that the first question doesn't even get an answer. Uh, who will get the final rose? Nope, nobody apparently. No one. How long is The Bachelor live on stage? Approximately two hours and 20 minutes with one intermission. Jeez Louise. Like, I could see maybe going to, like, spend two hours for, like, a professional theater show or, like, seeing, like, heck, Cats. Not the movie version. The movie version I've heard is terrible. But, like, two hours and 20 minutes for The Bachelor. Who dedicates that much time to it? I'm sorry. So you might be asking yourself, what exactly is the show? Because... Heck if we know. Uh, so, through a series of games, challenges, onstage dates, and other fun getting to know you scenarios, we w whittle our way down through multiple rose ceremonies until our local bachelor has found the lady he's most compatible with. Audience members can help the women and bachelor along the journey by asking questions, making suggestions, and cheering on the participants. I should mention there is a VIP experience. Uh, VIP meet and greet tickets include a special lanyard. That's it. But you get to go to the VIP area, uh, you get a photo, you get a meet and mingle with the Bachelor contestants and stars of the TV show, and you get a special VIP, <laughs> VIP in quotes, gift. I took a look on one of the different ticketing sites for the prices of the show. Those VIP tickets are at least like 150 bucks. Tickets for this start at $40. So you're basically paying over $100 $150 just to see this VIP thing. At the very least, you're paying 40 Which is the reason I'm probably not going to be seeing this show live, because I am broke. And I don't want to be paying 150 bucks to see this. I'm sorry. What is the age recommended to watch the show? Uh, we recommend ages 12 up. What parent is taking their 12-year-old to see The Bachelor live on stage? Why are you doing this? Okay, moving on. So let's apply, obviously, because we want to apply for this, obviously. Now, I should mention, it does say that in order to apply, they have to be at least 21. You have to be at least 21 years of age in order to apply. Do I watch The Bachelorette TV show? No. Uh, have you ever applied to be on The Bachelorette TV? No. Why would you like to be on the show? Uh, what qualities do you look for in a partner? Well, obviously, what's your biggest pet peeve on a partner? Well, of course, they paid 150 to see The Bachelor live on stage. That's spelled with a C. I cannot type sideways at all. This is not working well for me. Who's your celebrity crush? Obviously. Three words your friends would use to describe you. Uh, doesn't watch The Bachelor. Three and a half, I'm counting it. Uh, where do I get my Bachelor news? I don't. Do you listen to any Bachelor podcasts? I didn't know there was more than any. I didn't actually know that any existed. I'm surprised that there's more than one. I don't want to look it up because I'm lazy. Uh, what's your favorite TV show? Not The Bachelor. And I'm fairly certain saying The Bachelor gets you credits for this, so we're not going to uh, Where slash when slash with who do you watch The Bachelor? Uh, that should be with whom. Um, but to actually answer the question, uh, it's nowhere, never, and with nobody because I don't watch The Bachelor. Shocking, I know. Uh, do you read any Bachelor blogs? In doing my research for this, um, I found out that Men's Health actually did an article about The Bachelor Live on stage. And I absolutely love the headline of it, because The bachelor, bachelor Live on Stage will be a glorious train wreck, and we can't wait for it. Couldn't have said it better myself. Because embarrassing yourself on TV is funny. Couldn't have said it better myself. Also, look at the picture they've chosen. Look at that smug face. He knows that people are going to pay money for this. He knows they're going to pay money for this, and they're going to enjoy it. So yeah, that's basically The Bachelor Live on stage. I don't really have an idea as to where I was going with this video, other than the fact that The Bachelor Live on stage is the thing. 
I doubt there will actually be a follow-up video to this unless someone manages to snag me tickets to this show because I ain't paying money to go to this show. I'm sorry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Subscribe if you want to, I suppose. Bye!